Our next speaker is Mr. Donnie Smith. He's director of the Center of Innovation for Agribusiness in the state of Georgia. Mr. Smith is a fifth generation farmer and the owner of Smith Farms located in Coffee and Atkinson counties. We're told he has agriculture in his blood and he is a past Georgia Lancaster Sunbelt Expo Farmer of the Year as well as a past Georgia Flu Cured Tobacco Farmer of the Year. He serves on Senator Saxby Chambliss' uh, Agricultural Advisory, Advisory Commission uh, as well as Georgia Statewide Water Management Planning Advisory Committee. Please join me in welcoming Mr. Smith. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. <laughs> what a privilege and a pleasure it is for me to be before this group. The Saudi business, there's some great opportunities here. Allow me to again, and I want to, by a show of hands, how many is it the first time in Georgia? How many people is it? Wow. Welcome to Georgia. You're a great group. But we're here, and I want to say welcome to you, these special guests and my distinguished panel. Great job. I think we're all working toward the same goal. We want food security. We want what's best for our countries. We want jobs. We want to enjoy a great quality of life. And that's what we're working for here in Georgia. Uh, we want to extend that helping hand. And Lloyd said it great a few minutes ago. We would like to have a delegation from Saudi to come visit Georgia. We would like to show you what we do here in Georgia. We are a strong agricultural state. We have a lot of assets here in the state. Let me just say up until eight years ago, I was a full-time farmer. I still own my farm. A farm manager looks at it, after it, but farming is my blood. I will say that agriculture is my life, but it's also our future. We got to look toward agriculture in the future. I've jokingly said, but it's true, that without agriculture, we would be hungry, we would be homeless, and even we would be naked and without jobs. So agriculture, agribusiness is important to all of us in this room. I'm going to make the pitch to come visit Georgia. Why Georgia? Georgia is where the companies go to be global leaders. We have here in Georgia 14 uh, Fortune 500 countries. And we also have over 3,000 internationally owned facilities representing over 60 countries here in Georgia. We can look at probably the world's most recognizable brand, Coca-Cola food processing. It had its start here in Georgia 125 years ago. <coughs> and we can also look, and you mentioned uh, Ag Agco. It's headquartered here in Georgia. And that's the result of some of that farm equipment going all across the nation. But Georgia is the place to do business. Why? We have global access. Hartsville International Airport. It's the world's busiest airport. We have over 80 international direct flights. And also we strategically located have a couple of ports here in the state. In these tough economic times, our Georgia ports are growing in market share and volume. Our ports are providing that global companies that have access to their countries around uh, customers around the world. I'm looking forward in the future for us out of Savannah and maybe Brunswick shipping to Jeddah, only 21 transit days, or also to Daman, to those ports there. We're looking forward to that in the future. I talked about it's our future. We can talk about success stories, as you've talked about. Agribusiness, agriculture is a success here in Georgia. It's a $68 billion industry for the state. One in six Georgians are employed in agriculture. And two-thirds of our Georgia counties is either the number one or number two uh, largest employer. We lead the nation in poultry, pecans, peanuts, our agricultural portfolio is very, also very strong in fruits and vegetables, cotton, timber. I've often said we can grow anything from A to Z here in Georgia, from apples to zucchini. 
Another reason we have over 4.1 million hectares of cropland here in our state with over 600,000 irrigated acres here in the state. We know how to grow crops here in Georgia. We know how to conserve water. We're looking at additional research with variable rate irrigation, with using sensors to know when to water and some, some other tools. Georgia's average rainfall is 52 inches a year as compared to, to sawdust, which is less than four inches a year. So, so Georgia is probably the place to be. Not only do we have those resources, but we have innovative and business-oriented farmers. Our farmers are ready to adapt new technology and to, to, to employ it there on the, on the farm. But I think food security comes down to keeping our farmers also healthy. And we're working to do that here in the state of Georgia. We have approximately 48,000 farms here in Georgia. If I had to pick one commodity to talk about, and I've looked at your chart, some of the needs you have, it would be poultry. We do poultry like Saudi Arabia does dates. We can grow poultry. Georgia leads the nation in poultry production. If Georgia were a nation, standalone nation, we would be the sixth largest grower of poultry in, in the world. On an average day, we process and produce over 26 million pounds a day. We have located in Georgia, and we've talked about this, our world-class universities and research facilities, including University of Georgia and Georgia Tech, and they are leading with poultry research. Uh, we have the climate, we have the soil, we have the water, the university research, our proactive farmers. So they're, and they're also august, accustomed to growing poultry by contract. So in the future, I see us here in Georgia growing and processing chickens in the halal tradition for transport or export to Saudi Arabia. I think that's a plus and a very positive thing. Not only do we grow a lot of crops here in Georgia, but we process a lot of those crops. Food processing is Georgia's leading manufacturing industry. I think Georgia and all of the southeast United States represents a food resource for the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. We can grow it here. We would like to see some of our food products in your supermarkets there, in the Tamai markets, the Panda supermarkets, the Lolo's, the uh, Carrefour stores. We think we can supply a food processing product, but we'd also like to see some more of your delicious dates in our Georgia supermarkets. In closing, I just want to say that by working together, I feel like we can make a difference for not only for Georgians, but for all the Saudis and for the world. We can talk about partnership, we can talk about trust, we can talk about collaboration. We're willing to do all those things here in Georgia. We have a great team assembled here in Georgia. We work closely with the Georgia Department of Economic Development, with the Georgia Department of uh, Ag Agriculture, good friend Commissioner Gary Black, with the Centers of Innovation and our research universities. Hopefully, and Lloyd, we're working on this. We're telling you that you need to be here and the Saudi friends to be come visit Georgia next spring. We can arrange a farm tour. We can arrange for you to go visit agribusinesses. Uh, we can also arrange maybe that you want to see a food processing facility. We can arrange that. And hopefully next September we can participate in the Saudi Agro Food Initiative Exposition there in Riyadh next September. In closing, I'd like to just say Georgia is your friend. We want to work together for a bright future. We want to be there to serve the good health of all the consumers with the best food and the beverages that we can uh, share with you. We look forward to many future handshakes. Again, if I can be of any assistance, and I've got a lot of newfound friends in this room and a lot of old friends here also, but we look forward to working with you. Just remember, when you begin to think, we want you to keep Georgia on your mind. So thank you. Thank you very much. Is that 10 minutes?